After all, recently there has been an ongoing debate on actual activity of low concentrated hypochlorites in the treatment of infected wounds. And by low concentration, I mean a few dozen uh, parts per million of active chlorine in the product. Recently we have published a few in vitro papers on activity of such low concentrated hypochlorites and we showed that those uh, compounds are unable to effectively kill microbial cells and to kill the biofilm that infects chronic wounds. We have performed our studies using advanced in vitro models and our findings were backed up by similar findings of researchers from other European centers. Nevertheless, due to intense marketing of those low concentrated hypochlorides, we are often asked do those products work against the bacteria or not? And this is not merely academic question, because answer uh, to this question uh, is of impact on the way how the infected wound is treated. To help clarify this issue, we have prepared very simple yet very convenient in vitro model. We basically took the agar plate, the Staphylococcus aureus, bacteria and we spread bacteria on the plate. Then we pour a drop of antiseptic on the plate and incubated it. As a control of the experiments, the polyhexanid antiseptic was used and the saline, the compound that has no antimicrobial activity. If the antiseptic works, there should be visible zone of growth inhibition around the drop of the antiseptic. To make it even more convenient, we have prepared whole experiments without any cuts. We filmed it without any gaps in the time so you can investigate the whole process with us. As you can see, the only visible inhibition zone is around the drop of polyhexanid. There is no inhibition zone around the low concentrated hypochlorite. We encourage you to replicate the simple experiment in your own laboratory. You need only agar plate, bacteria and the antiseptic. As we shown in our research papers, low concentrated hypochlorides may be effective in physically rinsing bacteria off, but not in killing them. So stay tuned and be prepared for more experiments.